At exactly 4.45 p.m., the convoy carrying the remains of the late Kiabazinga left Mulago Hospital, where he died two days ago. The body was destined for Parliament, where it will spend the night. Police paved the way for the vehicle carrying the casket to avoid any interruptions and delays in the convoy. At Parliament, hundreds of people lined up to see the convoy carrying the remains of their beloved King Meg. The mood was clearly sombre. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga, who hails from Busoga, was at hand to receive the body of her king into the house. Also present was Prime Minister Professor Apollon Sibambi. And to the tunes of judges played by the police band, the Kiabazinga's body was taken inside Parliament where MPs were given a chance to pay their last respects. A queue of other mourners, some of whom could not hold their tears, followed as the dark shadow of sorrow filled the parliament premises. The fallen king's body will spend the night in parliament from where it will leave for Busoga tomorrow evening after another session of public viewing. Hilara Esga, NTV Tonight.